Welcome to FinChute. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the foreign exchange forecasting model on Bloomberg. To find the forecast model, type in the top left hand corner FX forecast. This will bring up FX forecasts and also the FX rate forecast model. Click on this. This will now bring you to a screen that has on the left hand side the currency box. I'm going to change this to AUD USD. A date box. Source. Number of deviations. And a series of columns and rows. On the right hand side you'll see a table that contains a histogram and a distribution. Let's go through this from the very start. Selecting th quarter three, you'll see that there's a 74.7% chance of the price falling between 82.52 and 101.36. Looking at the histogram, what we see is a definite skew toward the currency falling lower. That is, a higher percentage probability that the currency is going to be lower than it is for an equivalent move higher. What this uses is undiscounted digital prices as a cumulative distribution. You can work this out using OVML if you're so inclined. However, the nice thing about the Bloomberg model is not only do we have these implied probabilities and you'll see that if I hover over one, it will give me the point probability or discrete probability inclusive of endpoints. What I then want to do is add the analyst forecast to find out whether the analysts are different to the market. Why would the market be different? Well, the market, as you know, can adapt a lot quicker than an analyst can. However, analysts have a more fundamental view and as a result are less likely to be skewed by noise, unlike a market which may well be. Looking at the table on the right hand side, you'll see our implied probability, our analyst forecast, but I can also click on and off my analyst consensus being the orange line, and click on and off my current spot. If I so chose, I could pick the forward price, and strangely, this falls right in the middle of where the market is saying the currency should move to. All this is well and good and gives you a good feel for the direction the currency is going to take in the next quarter. In this case, you'll see it's definitely skewed toward moving lower. However, if I wanted to find an accurate statistical measure of where the currency would be, I would go to Probability Calculator on the bottom tab. And then I would say, for example, give me the probability that the Australian dollar will be above 1 in six months time. This will now go out and calculate the probability using the undiscounted digital and it comes up with a probability of 21.4 percent. If I now said beneath 1, you would expect my answer to be 1 minus 21.4, in which case it is 78.6% chance of it being beneath 1. There are also a series of references on how to use this model under user guide and white paper. But this is not the only currency that can be placed in here. We can also place AUGBP, gain, so on and so forth, gain by 3%. from today to Q3. This becomes very, very handy when we're starting to look for opportunities to hedge or we need to put in papers and say, right, this is what my 
cost level is and here is the probability that the market is going to fall beneath or remain above that hedge cost. Now of course it's the right answer but it may not be the correct answer. One needs to ensure that they stay on top of the market by looking at daily charts and why the analysts are saying that these forecasts are the way they are. This has been another tutorial from